Since the 1950s, scientists have developed techniques to explore how our DNA makes us different. And in doing so, they inadvertently developed a core tool in modern crime investigation. DNA is the genetic material of a cell and can be described as the blueprint of an organism. Human DNA consists of about 3 billion bases, and more than 99% of those bases are the same in all people. But the 1% difference means that no two individuals' DNA is exactly the same, except for identical twins. DNA collected from genetic material left at a crime scene can either link a suspect to the evidence or eliminate them from investigations. In the 1960s, DNA profiling techniques required large quantities of biological material and could only be used to determine blood type. With few crime scenes providing the necessary quantity of blood or tissue samples and with only four main blood groups, these early techniques did not help narrow down suspects. But by 1984, a method called restriction fragment length polymorphism had been developed. This would be dubbed DNA fingerprinting. In 1987, DNA was first used to match an individual to a specific crime. Scientists still needed large samples of DNA to make a match, so often a blood sample was required. It wasn't long before this new technique was seen as a vital crime-fighting tool, and large DNA databases were being set up worldwide to catch criminals. By 1997, it became possible to take tiny pieces of DNA from small samples of saliva, blood, and any other bodily fluids. Forensic scientists do this by a technique known as polymerase chain reaction. Polymerase chain reaction works by subjecting the target DNA to intense heat, splitting the double strand of DNA into two segments. As the mixture cools, enzymes lock onto each strand of DNA, creating an exact copy of the missing half to make two new double-stranded strips of DNA. Forensic scientists can create an entire DNA profile from a single strand of DNA. This means that a single hair or drop of blood left at a crime scene is now enough to identify the criminal. DNA profiling continues to advance and revolutionize forensic science, making the world safer from criminals.